there so today I'm going to be doing a review on the new L'Oreal Mega Volume Hippie Mascara. This is the latest in the line of the Mega Volume Mascara. They had the Miss Manga one which came first, then they had the Punky one and now they have the Hippie one. Now I don't have any idea where my original Miss Manga has gone, the one with the pink top. It's disappeared. I have no idea. I did have it and now it's gone. Now that Miss Manga, I think I know exactly where it is. It's in the car. It, original Miss Manga was actually my favourite mascara for quite some time because I loved the way it just like made my lashes kind of flirt out at the ends and it just gave you a really nice open eye kind of look. I did have a few problems with the wand though. It wasn't the easiest application. It could get kind of messy. The Miss Manga one I really did like as well, um, not as much as the original, this one's got a super kind of spiky wand um, but it's super easy to use and it does leave your lashes looking quite spiky. So I'm very keen to see what the hippie one is like. Now the description of this mascara is, it says a mega fuzzy brush with kaleidoscope bristles coat, coat your lashes layer by layer for a feathery lash look. The Mega Impact Formula instantly volumizes and thickens the look of your lashes for a festival ready look. I'm not quite sure what a festival ready look is, to be quite honest, but apparently I'm going to be ready to go to a festival today, which I'm obviously not doing. I'm going up to Blackpool to visit my grandmother today, but we can pretend we're going to a festival. So, okay, so we're going to try this out today. And if I've got anything to update kind of throughout the day in terms of how this mascara wears, I will come back later and let you know. But for now, I'm just going to do a first impression. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty thick wand and I can already tell that the actual mascara looks to be pretty kind of liquidy. I don't know how I can tell that, but I can. I can see there's loads and loads of Brussels. Brussels? <laughs> loads and loads of bristles and they're not kind of even that there's some that are short some that are long it just seems like a little bit chaotic but hey i'm going to be open-minded so let's have a little look wow this this uh one does seem to be really quite big and we've got this issue with the actual product kind of congregating at the very tip of the wand which always makes for quite a tricky application so here goes i always find that mascaras are harder to apply just after you've bought them when they're new because the formula is a lot wetter okay so here goes i'm going i'm putting it on um okay i'm not wowed not wowed so far not wild at this point, but I'm going to be open-minded. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit all over the place. I mean, it is kind of, you can see, it definitely is kind of fluttery. I'm going to do the other eye. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look here. Okay, so it's not really that difficult to apply. I find that if you use the tip, to kind of just separate the lashes. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. If you hold the brush kind of vertically as opposed to horizontally, that definitely does make life easier. Okay. Okay, so there we go. This is after one coat. By the way, I love L'Oreal mascaras. The telescopic range are just my favorite range. I love drugstore mascaras. They're like my best. My best, what? Today I am wearing the L'Oreal Nude Cushion for the first time. I may or may not have this video up yet, I'm not sure, but it's coming soon. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to go away and apply another layer just so, you know, I can weigh this up. And I'm going to do my bottom lashes, which I'm dreading doing with this massive brush. But I'll be back in a minute. So here goes. I put two coats on in total. Um, it was actually not as difficult as I thought to do the bottom lashes and I'm kind of liking it it's a little bit chaotic like it's definitely not giving me like very kind of you know um evenly defined lashes it does look a little bit kind of feathery and all over the place and I really don't know what they mean by kaleidoscope brush or maybe because some of the bristles are longer than 
other ones. It's, I don't, who knows? Anyway, I'm kind of liking it. It's definitely made my lashes look very thick. I would say that this mascara has definitely made my lashes more kind of voluminous as opposed to long. I mean, it has made them longer, but it, I think it's got that kind of thickening kind of formula to it. Um, I'm kind of liking it, actually. I was kind of dubious and I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I kind of do. I think because the bristles are different sizes, it's kind of, that's kind of helped to give me more volume. So I'm liking it. My lashes do look very thick. Yeah, very thick. And um, by the way, just to mention as well, I got the waterproof version by accident. I didn't mean to. I just selected the wrong one in my excitement to buy it. So yeah, I mean, as a first impression, I which is what this is, because I suppose you can judge a mascara off how it wears, but for me, it's mainly how it looks, because I don't really tend to ever have an issue with mascaras, kind of, um, what do we call it, flaking off. So I will come back if I feel like there's any updates that I need to give to you. Other than that, I will include any other info in the description box below, but just um, to give you an idea of what this mascara looks like, here it is. And I, I, I do like it. I do like it. I like it. One thing to mention as well. I do find that the three different products and the one that's in my car, the Miss Manga, they are extremely different. They've not just brought out like a slight variation to the, the original. They're all very unique mascaras in their own right. So I applaud L'Oreal for that. Um, they really are kind of thinking outside the box here. So I think that's, you know, really brilliant. So yes, I definitely would recommend the Hippie one. I just think it does give you a lot of volume. So yes, I recommend it. Give it a go. Why not? Okay, anyway, I will be back soon with more videos and please comment below. Let me know if you tried this mascara, if you tried any of them, which ones do you like? Um, okay, so thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with more videos.